The Asteraceae are one of the largest flowering plant families in the world. They can be annuals, biennials, perennials, herbs, shrubs, trees. There's an enormous amount of variability across the family in terms of habitat, habit, leaf shape, but one of the best features to use for ID is the flower. The old family name for Asteraceae is Compositae, which means composite, and this describes the flower pretty well. What we actually call a flower is actually a huge aggregation of many smaller flowers packed in close together. In some genera, like this Rutabecchia herda, or black-eyed Susan, you're actually seeing two kinds of flowers. The disc flowers here in the center, which are tubular shaped, and the ray flowers on the periphery, which have what we usually call a petal, but what is actually correctly called a ray. Unlike disc flowers, ray flowers are bilaterally symmetrical, or zygomorphic. <laughs> in other genera, like the Artemisia, or wormwoods, you only see disc flowers. And in the dandelions, or teraxicums, you only see ray flowers. Another important feature of the Asteraceae is a special projection called the pappus, which sits atop the achene, or the one-seeded fruit, of the flower. The pappus can be pretty variable, too. In the teraxicum, or the dandelions, it's the little parachute that we all know pretty well. And in other genera, like this Bidens, or beggar tick, the pappus is four bristles known as awns, which help the seeds attach onto an animal or anything passing by to aid in dispersal. The sneeze weeds, or heliniums, have a crown of scales as a pappus, demonstrating even more variety. Finally, if you're getting more in-depth with Asteraceae ID, you might be asked to describe the plant's bracts. There are two types of bracts. First, the involucral bracts, which are found underneath the whole capitulum, or the aggregation of flowers of the plant. Some questions you might be asked here are, how wide are they? What color are they? Because they could be green or brown. Are they overlapping? Are they hairy? The second kind of bracts are called receptacular bracts, and they actually subtend the individual flowers within the capitulum. These can be very hard to see and are not present in all genera. Good luck with your Asteraceae ID!